I believe all of us can do. So, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a life so effortlessly and miraculously dedicated to the betterment of my life. I mean, all of our lives. A man touched and changed by the Lord. His mission was guided by his faith. So we are here today to celebrate Dr. King and his legacy, along with our own Evanston, E-Town, political leaders. You see, Dr. King dedicated his life to the honor's duty of being a voice to the voiceless. He said, we know through painful experience that freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. And this was from his letter in the Birmingham jail. And Dr. King understood his role in society and the baggage that it came with. And this baggage that we refer to is the unfortunate struggle black people faced 50 years ago and still face today. And having dedicated most of his life to, and his work, Dr. King is a prime example of giving it your all at any cost. He was recognized as Man of the Year by Time in 1963. I mean, Dr. King was a true inspiration. We all owe him. And it's our duty to make a difference. And a sense of service has seeped into many others. Others in the community who, like Dr. King, have dedicated their lives to the betterment of, once again, our lives. And although Dr. King played a pivotal, a pivotal role in spreading awareness of racism and discrimination in America, leadership takes many forms and many faces. And my grandmother always told me, you make the situation what it is. If you want the situation to be good, then it will be good for you. And this message transcends into a life dedicated to leadership, a life of a civil servant. Do you sense a common theme? You see, we notice in politics this is easier said than done. But I still believe this message holds true. And let's look at it from a perspective we all understand. Take Evanston, for example. If you work at making Evanston a better place, then Evanston will be a better place for you. And actually, all of us, because if it's good for you, I sure hope it's good for me. And it's up to each and every one of us, yes you, and even you guys in the back, hello, <laughs> to make a difference. So taking this Evanston reference a bit further, bear with me. <laughs> um, I noticed something about Evanston's politicians that is undeniably true. We have some of the strongest civil servants, and of those, two women are undeniably worthy of our praise. And I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, but now let's point out the fact that the life of a civil ser servant is a tiring uphill battle. And yet people like Amer Mayor Elizabeth Tisdall and Alderwoman Dolores Holmes strive, respectively, for equity for all of us, for people like you and I. You see, it's important to notice that just because you aren't in Time Magazine doesn't make your actions towards equity less than important. The Bible says, don't do something out of recognition. Do it out of the kindness of your heart. And I notice that these two women are strong enough to be weak, successful enough to fail, and busy enough to make time. Whether it be Mayor Tisdall showing up to almost every Evanston event, <laughs> or Alderwoman Holmes helping and caring for our youth. That is time, 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 and let's sprinkle a little bit more time just to make it clear. These women are also great enough to be anonymous and important enough to be last. And I think it's admirable, and the fact that they do it so effortlessly without being asked is more than appreciated. And these are the paradoxes of being a servant leader. Their work is a reflection of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s work, and all he stood for. And the dedication of these women to Evanston is, it's great. I mean, what word comes to mind 
And what word would you use to describe over 20 years of combined service? And actually, both Mayor Tisdall and Alderwoman Holmes combined for nearly 40 years of public service in elected positions and have truly left their mark on the world in our small but large Evanston community. And so one of my favorite songs goes, I want to do something that matters, say something different, something that sets the whole world on its ear. I want to do something better with the time I've been given, and I want to try to touch a few hearts in this life. I'll leave nothing less than something that says I was here. And I Martin Luther King not only left his mark, but I think it's time that we celebrate the lives of two women who did something that mattered, truly said something different that set the whole world on its ear. They did something better with the time they were given, <laughs> and they tried to touch a few hearts in their life. And they're leaving their respective offices this year with something that says they were here. <coughs> So as we join together today to celebrate Dr. King and his legacy, we also come to celebrate our own mayor, Elizabeth Tisdall, and Alderwoman Dolor Dolores Holmes. And as we applaud and recognize our mayor and fifth ward Alderwoman in conjunction with MLK Day here at Fleetwood Jordan, it has been an honor to speak on the legacy and service of truly, 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 truly inspirational leaders. And I would like to extend this day of celebration not only to older women homes and Mayor Tisdall, but the people who make my life and your lives important and inspiration, in, inspirational. I'm talking about my mother, your mother, your fathers, all of your bereaved mothers and fathers, our grandmothers, grandfathers, aunties, uncles, fake aunties, fake uncles, cousins, play cousins. This day, is about truly inspirational people. Because it truly does take a village, y'all. So personally, for me, the woman in my life who have changed me for good, of course, is my mother, Christian Harris, both of my grandmothers, Denise Martin and Beverly Dyer, and my aunt, Paige Dyer, and also former mayor of Evanston, Lorraine Morgan. Truly lighting a path of wisdom, hope, and efforts to accomplish greatness. And this day isn't only for them. Today is a day about shining the light on the person who makes a difference, whether it be the smallest difference or the largest difference. Today is for change makers. So thank you, ladies, for your tireless work. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I want to spread a little more love on this day and a little bit of church for those of you who might miss the 9 o'clock service. So, I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, hey neighbor. Hey neighbor. Together, we can make a difference. We can make a difference.